Hello, my friends. Shh. <laughs> and welcome to Cosmocrats. This is it called, right? I keep wanting to call it Cosmonauts, but that's not the name of the, the darn thing. Um, yeah, Cosmocrats. Um, this came um, out. I've got somewhere I need to be in an hour. <laughs> okay. Well, then. Uh... Let's dive in, shall we? Since apparently the game needs some, needs to be somewhere. Oh, play it for the first time. Um, yeah, we'll play the. We'll we're playing for the first time. I've never played this before. Wow. Uh, so let's do. Let's start with uh, easy. Okay. <laughs> Looks like a uh, pod from Discovery. Uh, you know, 2001 Discovery, not Star Trek Discovery. It was Discovery, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. My brain of late, y'all, has just been so... I like the music so far. <laughs> Hello, five and a quarter inch floppy. Got some of you right over here in my Starfleet 2 box. Your average peeler in the Space Force lasts around two years. Depending on what gets you first. <laughs> Worn out wrists or a case of acute boredom syndrome. Comrade, you've been reassigned. Report to room 237. <laughs> um, guys? Okay. Oh boy. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> um, hello? You must be the temporary drone pilot. Sit down. Oh, okay. It says here that you have peeling experience. Really? That's it? This is all temporary. Space Force is sending a real drone pilot soon. For now, I'll be your supervisor. Call me Boris. <laughs> okay. Drone piloting takes years to master. I can give you five minutes in the simulator. Or you can learn during your first mission. You decide. Good choice. We break something in the simulator first. Hmm. Uh, I was right. Pilot a drone, potato peeler. Try it out. Move around using the joystick. I was really hoping that when he loaded that um, that five and a quarter inch floppy in, that he that we'd hear some authentic five and a quarter inch floppy sounds, but. I don't know if you can just get those sounds anymore. I wonder if you can go to YouTube and get those, like, you know those sounds I'm talking about. Of course you do. Oh, boy. Um, the potato itself might be a faster pilot. 
Okay. All right. All right. Fine. Fine. I'm just trying not to hit anything. But all right. All right. Fine. I believe in accuracy above all else. Oh. So far, so good. Next, push the box on your left into the target zone on your right. And make it quick. I've got a ton of paperwork to censor. Okay. Okay. You're not completely useless. Thank you. Let's see if you can assemble a little space station. Push the red connectors close to each other. Um. Speed is important. Move faster, comrade. All right, all right, fine. Little Tetrisy there. <laughs> right, any simpleton can push stuff around. Professional drone pilots use the pulling ability. Try it out. You can pull connectors using the action button. All right, you want me to move fast, so I will move fast. Any day now, potato peeler. You know what? All right. Final lesson. So what else does a space station need? Power. Solar panels generate power that you need to distribute to other modules. You know what, <laughs> pal, Pally, you know what, Pally, you can go take a walk. <sighs> it's quite impressive for someone who spends all day peeling potatoes. Get ready. <laughs> Floss daily. That is as a hunt. Of course, is doing big things these days, comrade. But let's start with something small to test your skills. Push or pull these pieces together to assemble the station. Oh, come on. Come on. Having trouble with the controls? Use less force. Be gentle. Like playing Tetris. Hmm. Tough. This is legit tough. Okay. 
Whoops, 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 whoops. Ooh. Not too bad for a potato peeler. Okay. Oh, that was challenging. Where are we? We're ten minutes. Okay, I think we I can do one more. Facts from the ministry regarding this next assembly. They will be filming a broadcast, so stay out of their way. Okay. Space Force is changing the world today. They're filming the first man to ever walk in space. Okay. Oh, by the way, be gentle with the cosmonauts. They're quite fragile. Ah, here he comes. Dobre dien, Yuri. Dobre Okay, I guess we're going to need to move this guy. Because... Oh, come on, dude. Dude. That bastard still owes me five kartoshkas from last week's Tetris deathmatch. Okay. So, come on. Out of there. Whew. Whew. Great. Another ego boost for the famous Yuri. Huh. Ah, fewer potatoes I have to. Cool. Didn't take long at all. Uh oh. What's this? Sorry, my phone is on loud because my wife isn't in the apartment. You know what, Peeler? You're not an amazing pilot, but you are quiet. <laughs> yeah, most pilots talk too much. I'm going to put in a call. We'll read the newspaper or something. Wow, look at this. Never leave airlock without duct tape. Got the window? Ooh, are those the space station, little space stations I just built? That's cool. And then check out the metal case. Turn off lamp. Metal case. Print out. What metal case? I don't... There's a lamp. Oh, look at that! There's a five and a quarter and a three and a half inch drive. Wait for Boris. Read newspaper. Oh, look at that! The little joystick mimics what I'm doing. Uh... No, that's not... No. Wear a mask. What metal case? Oh, metal case. Oh, God. I don't. I still don't see a metal case. Like, anywhere. Oh, there it is. Oh. All right, it's settled. We're going to keep you around for now. Cool. Only until the real drone pilot arrives. Two, maybe three more missions. Okay, we're going to call it here. I try to keep these usually to, ha to... I usually try and keep my videos to 15 minutes or less. Sometimes I make an exception for bigger games, but the, this is a perfect stopping point right now. Uh, so I am enjoying this. It is, it is tense. It is stressful. Like, weird Tetris in space. But I'm liking it. Uh, so see you for the next entry, y'all.